Sydney Iris E.I. The iris has this trauma, the epithelium, epithelium could be the posterior epithelium or the anterior epithelium. The anterior epithelium contains myoepithelial cells. The posterior myoepithelial cells has melanocyte. And so the posterior part of the anterior epithelium and the posterior epithelium gives the pigment to the iris, but most of the pigment comes from the posterior epithelium. The posterior epithelium is continuous with the neuroretina, and the posterior part of the myoepithelial cells is continued with the pigmented epithelium of the retina. So here the myoepithelial cells are divided into anterior or basal and posterior or uh, apical. These, uh, these cells have melanocytes and give pigmentation, but this pigment is covered by the posterior epithelium and the others give a extension of the stroma and and the extension of the stroma gives rise to the delay pupillary pupillary dilator muscles and the sphincter of the pupilla. So the iris has this shape, this is the iris something like this. And here this is the pupilla. The pupilla is is a hole. It is not a structure it's is just the hole that is made by the iris, and the the pupilla is con the size of the pupilla is controlled by the parasympathetic and sympathetic pathways that that innervates the pupilla dilator muscle and the sphincter of the pupilla. So the innervation also of the iris is by the ciliary nerves, and the iris is the most anterior part of the vascular coat of the of the eye that is the anterior that is the uvea remember that the uvea contains the anterior and posterior part and the anterior part is the iris and the ciliary body the most anterior part is the iris and it is inserted on the reticular trabecula at the sclera um, also in the in the iridocorneal angle or in the angle of the anterior chamber